So again, the big news uh, just released about an hour ago is that Adrian Martinez, uh, due to a shoulder injury, will not be starting or playing or available in any such way as Nebraska takes on Iowa, the final game of the season for the Huskers as they are 3-8. and eight. And we got Corey Brad on the line from the Hawkeye of the Storm to help us break it down. So we've got um, this going out on the Nebraska channel, as we typically do each and every week with uh, Greg Peterson from Husker Online, who has not responded to the link sent. So it is my firm guess and hope that th there's not another issue involved, that he is covering the Adrian Martinez news. And that is why he has not been able to join us because Greg has been going strong now for 44 consecutive weeks. Um, so I have been scurrying. Uh, if you've seen me looking down at my laptop while Corey was speaking, I, I contacted two other Nebraska media members to see if they could, uh, at last minute's notice, jump on with us to talk Nebraska and Iowa. So we had brought up the series and in continuing the uh, narrative about uh, Martinez absence, Logan Smothers, a quarterback who was highly touted out of high school in the 2020 class, a top 15 dual threat quarterback uh, coming out of Alabama. will get the start for Nebraska. There's been much discussion on this show uh, throughout the season and Adrian Martinez, various mishaps, which are typically high productivity, high explosive rate, but he makes key mistakes and key moments that have plagued him throughout his career. So as the record has declined for Nebraska, despite being competitive in all these games, uh, there has been a, certainly a portion of the fan base that has wanted to see uh, Logan Smothers, and they will get their chance 7-11 uh, of 11 in mop-up duty this year. Um, Are we sure it's Smothers, Mark? I mean, I because I, I did see Sean, Callan, as it, Sean Callahan, who covers okay. uh, Nebraska football, he did tweet out that, uh, he, I, again, I haven't heard Scott Frost's press conference, and maybe somebody on here has, but he mentioned – Smothers and is it Harburg, Heinrich Harburg? Um, I don't know what the two deep says. Maybe it is Smothers. Um, but I think I, it I, should be it should okay. be uh, Smothers. But yes, uh, that's um, yeah. Harburg's a local kid out of Kearney, I believe. Um, is so it Heinrich you, Harburg, I believe. I his, believe that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, again, we'll once we get a Nebraska, whether it's Greg or someone else on here, I'll be anxious to see um, because. Iowa's dealt with backup quarterbacks for Nebraska in recent years. Of course, the McCaffrey year, um, I mean, there were times where we didn't really know if, if Adrian was the starter in, in Lincoln. So um, I, I would assume it's Smother. That, that's been the, the most smoke that I've been hearing, and I've seen some of the comments in the chat here that uh, most people are anticipating it being Smothers. But I'll really have to do some stuff. I don't know anything about either one of these guys. So I'm sure – I don't know how many snaps Smothers has, but I'm sure <laughs> – this coaching staff, they're, they're going to be working on a, a short week. What doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, Mark, is why Scott Frost said this today. What was the point of giving away that information to Iowa's coaching staff? I I, I don't quite get that. I said the same thing when Ferentz said that Padilla was a starter two weeks ago heading into Minnesota. I don't know why you, you show your hand this early in the week. Um, this isn't the NFL where you have some rules regarding reporting injuries. So... That's a little bit odd to me, but, um, uh, you know, the first thing that I, when I first heard that, I thought, well, okay, was, is he entering the portal? I mean, that was literally my first thought because I just can't imagine it, especially in a rivalry game, why you would, would show your hand this early, but, uh, I'm not going to call Scott Frost a liar. I don't think there'd be any reason to think he's being disingenuous. I, I would guess that he is out and we'll see Smothers or, or Harburg. Yeah, the only thing I can tell you about Smothers, and this is just based on conversations with Greg, who um, is heavily involved in recruiting and recruited him uh, in high school from a media standpoint and uh, goes to a ton of high school games, is that um, he's got a capable arm, you know, much more so than Martinez. Not that Martinez is inadequate as a passer downfield, but it's not a plus, um, the, the downfield throwing ability and the arm strength not a plus for adrian as opposed to smothers apparently but of course you lose a ton of experience i'm not going to claim myself to be a coach because everybody know, knows me and listens to my show knows that i'm not an analytics genius or an x's and o's genius but i will say this just from my perspective it may be smart for nebraska to throw both quarterbacks in there 
Um, I, I think about what Purdue did to Iowa. Now I know they have skill position talent that Nebraska probably doesn't have, although their wide Nebraska's wide receiving core has improved throughout the year um, by a, a lot. Um, but I will say this: what Purdue was able to do with three quarterbacks against Iowa was impressive, and all three of them had their moments where Iowa struggled to contain them, whether it be through the air or on the ground. So I wouldn't be surprised, I, you know, if if Harburg does have some if, if he gets some snaps on Saturday again I don't know how these two guys compare from a uh, just a play standpoint if one is more mobile than the other um, but Frost has shown again going back to McCaffrey that he's willing to play a couple different guys especially in this game I think I mean why not you're not playing for a bowl game 